just sitting waiting for our plane. Um, we both got breakfast this morning before we got to the airport, but everyone's gonna be deboarding the plane here. So the plane just rolled up. This is our plane. It is massive. Um, anyways, we're gonna vlog our experience to France on our exchange. So she'll be vlogging, I'll be vlogging, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. So follow us along and yeah. We just got through getting our checked bags and that was a complete nightmare but we made it now we're just sitting here waiting for like a couple yeah, hours i think to like two and it is currently 8 30 a.m or something like that so that's great okay so we're just sitting here with all of our bags just chilling at a starbucks waiting for our Airbnb to get be ready, so, yeah. So we ordered our Uber, and we're on our way finally after waiting at the airport for like four and a half hours, but we had this lovely gentleman loading up our bags, because we took a Mercedes. <laughs> Got these fancy waters. Off we go. Okay, so we just got in and we have literally all of our suitcases and it's so many, but whatever. But this is the office area and then we have a nice closet and a nice like little hanging space for our jackets and stuff. And then this is the bed and it turns into two beds and then the TV and then there's an eating space and like a little kitchenette and then you go out here and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, so beautiful though. Oh my gosh, like I love the blue. Kind of reminds me of like a little patio in Greece or something, but super cute. So, so cute. Definitely the cozy flat for sure. That's what it's called. We're about to go get our phone plans and go to the bakery and maybe go grocery shopping and kind of like step outside of our Airbnb. So I'm gonna vlog that. I'm not gonna bring my tripod, but we have to like cross these this river over the over a bridge, so that should be cute. So I'll take a video of that and then see what's at the bakery. But I'm just wearing like my Lululemon bag romper shoes, even though this is like very athleisure. But so we just got croissants and then I got this wrap thing. Um, tortilla wrap. Yeah, tortilla wrap, and it was like chicken and cheese. But now. We're just walking across the river and it's nice. It's actually really pretty here. We just got our phone plans. Um, we're just now walking to the gym to see if we can get a gym membership for like three months and see what that's going to be like. But yeah, we have European phone numbers now. So I'm going to go get some groceries again. Just wearing this casual outfit. It's so hot. It's like 75% humidity, which is not something I'm used to, but whatever. And it's 29 degrees. So feels like Florida a little bit, but anyways, so let's go. Here's a little clip of the grocery store. They have all these fun snacks that I've never seen before. So I just wanted to show you them. Okay, so we're just going on a run to be past this like park area, so we're gonna go check it out and go on like a run and slash do like a circuit of some sort. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll film a bit of my running even though it's probably not gonna be good, but whatever. Okay, so we're just about to go out and check out an area that a possible apartment could be in. So this is what I'm wearing, just my Lululemon bag and then New Balances and then Dynamite. And I don't know where this is from, but you definitely have to dress how they dress or else you just get looked at and people stare at you and they know you're not from here. So yeah, anyways, um, New Balances are definitely the way to go. They're stylish and comfortable. So yeah, but anyways, I will show you the area without giving it away too much. We're just walking. <laughs> Our walk's like an hour and a half one way and then an hour and a half back the other. But <clears throat> I thought this was kind of interesting. There's like a tennis court over one of them, like a really major highway. 
and then there's just like a football court here. I don't know, I think that's kind of interesting that you would have like a full on tennis court. Like what if over. a ball? Yeah, like what, what if a ball? ball like went over? Cause the nets actually don't go too high. They go to like just here. So anyways, I find that kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, we were able to like, we're able to walk this whole way and like walk under major highways and stuff and across them. So that's something you don't really see in Canada. Like you can't really walk. It's a that very far. accessible city. Yeah, like you can walk almost two hours and it's like all pretty much sidewalks and people are actually walking, you're not walking on the side of the highway, so yeah. But it's a cute little area, I don't really know what these are for. But there's bikes everywhere, the line bikes are here, we have those in Canada, but there's another brand, but I don't really know what these are for, maybe like a street market or something. Oh yeah, but like yeah. a Sunday street market or something? Yeah, I don't know, but kind of cute, kind of a cute area. I don't know. Get it? Um, it's really quite cute, actually. And there's like a little soccer field there. Um, and this would be our walk to school. So cute. But hopefully we get it because it's a pretty good deal and it's really, really nice. So. It's our school. Oh, this is so exciting. That's our school. That's so exciting. How did? I don't know how we didn't notice that on the way here because we were walking. Oh, oops. We were walking this way, so I don't know. I don't know how we didn't see that, but that's our school. We just finished checking out the place, like the area. So it's about a 25 minute walk to our school, which is perfect because our school is actually by a really busy area, as you can see. It's like, that's one of the major highways. Remember I was talking about the tennis courts being across it, but yeah, so it's a good walk. It's about 25 minutes. I feel like that's a good amount of time away from our school. I don't know. This was just a cool Ferrari we saw on our way home. And this is a cute cat that I saw, so enjoy. We're about to go, I'm so actually surprising Jenna, but we're about to go to this monument. It's like a big brick building on top of a hill. And then there's a cool thing next to it, which is the surprise. But anyways, this is my outfit. Very comfortable, casual, so. But I'll show you the surprise that I'm surprising Jenna with. It's pretty cool it's not anything that someone doesn't know about but it's pretty cool okay so we're just on the way to the surprise there's jenna um this is really cool street i'll show you around the corner but it's so cool here cute cafe right there it's like everyone's sitting so cute we're walking and it is absolutely like downpouring like just so but when we left it was like just like it, spring weather but now it's like absolutely down for as you can see so great love that look at this street it goes like curves all the way up there it's so pretty okay so as you can see they curve up this is so beautiful oh my gosh this street is amazing so this is the street leading up to the monument holy crap it's raining again we only made it like basically from there. So swing it out again. That's where it is, the monument up there. So a little bit more to go. So this is the entrance. We made it up the hill. We're gonna go up here now. So we made it to the top of two sets of staircases, one here and one down there. And we gotta go up there. So pretty though. Okay, so we made it again to another staircase. It's this big building there. I don't know what it is. My destination's up there. Okay, so we made it to our destination. This beautiful old building. That's the surprise right there. <clears throat> and then this is the viewpoint and the Eiffel Tower is over there. You just can't see it. There is a lot of people here though. Okay, so this is a viewpoint. We decided not to go up there because there's so many people. You can't even get a spot, but so pretty. The Ferris wheel is somewhere around here. And then there's another monument here and the Eiffel Tower is there, but so pretty. Okay, so I found the surprise. It's called the sinking house. So I'm gonna turn my camera. You have to turn your camera like that. I'll insert a photo of mine, but if anyone wants to find it, you have to come to this green dumpster and just go to the right, and it's right here, and you have to get really low and turn your phone upside down, so really cool. So there's this guy doing 
performing at. Running in the spot. Yeah, running in the spot. You know, just entertaining us. Cute. Oh, there he goes. I just wanted to quickly show you my outfit. Um, this is a reversible bucket hat. It's from Lululemon. These are from Amazon. I don't know where this is from. Lululemon. And these are actually my mom's pants from when she was my age. So this is kind of cool. But just a cute little Sunday outfit. Um, yeah, I'm just about to go get groceries. I'm on a little solo adventure. Just going to the grocery store by myself. I got some eggs and mayonnaise because Jenna is gonna make a cucumber sandwich and I'm gonna make a tuna sandwich and we're gonna have eggs for breakfast. But this is what I got. So I'm just walking home right now. I got everything I needed. I got the mayonnaise and my eggs. Um, and I just wanted to close out this week's vlog. It is August 27th. I'm gonna start on next week's vlog. I think today we're gonna go explore a little park near our place and see what that's like. It's fine, like a cute little park. It's currently Sunday, so a lot of things are closed early like the grocery store i went to is closing at 1 instead of 8 p.m so that's something that's different around here that i'll have to get used to is a lot of things close on sundays because it is a religious holiday here and mostly everywhere but especially here so yeah but thanks for watching guys